What is going on everyone? It's Gage here and welcome to You Bucked At. And today is not Buccaneers related, but is it be some interesting news. It's actually about the menace of the Vikings. Um, and we're going to be talking, they're about to do a press conference about their top coordinators. And uh, I'm here to talk about some of them. And, I, and my reasons why if Kirk Cousins is a quarterback, could be great. And we're gonna, I'm not going to say ifs. I was going to with Russell Wilson, which ended up in the Super Bowl, if I have to say so myself. But let's think of who the Vikings actually have at this moment because that's just uh, speculation. Let's go with the facts. Okay, so Ed Terrell, he is, uh, let's see here, he, is, uh, he was the defensive coordinator for Denver Broncos from 2019 to up to this year. And let me tell you guys, this dude... Pretty damn good. Pretty good, dude. Denver has a top uh, defense. I would say top 15. And they're pretty pretty good and they're upcoming. And uh, apparently, I'm not sure why, but Vikings are loving the Denver staff. Because they already signed a couple of assistant head coaches like Chris Cooper as our offensive line coach. And that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's going to... You know, because the Vikings have a lot of young staff, which I'll get into. Um... But you gotta have that. You gotta have some experience because these young dudes need someone to be like, "Hey, man, you know what? What should I do with this?" Or he's been in situations before, which is gonna help a ton. And Ed Terrell, I think, is a hell of a defense coordinator if you look at his resume. Because I haven't heard too much from him, but he's done great. The, the Broncos staff. So, and let's see here. He was a defensive coordinator. Yeah, you know, obviously Denver. I just mentioned. But he was also with Washington for two, uh, for a year. Um, I guess it didn't work out. 2008. And uh, he was also... Let's see. Here he was with... I got some notes here. I guess that's all. Yeah. That, um, oh, Green Bay. Green Bay. That's what I was saying. Green Bay from 2000 to 2003. And... Uh, that's pretty good, man. You were, the Green Bay was pretty good. Pretty good. AJ Hawk, a you know a lot of great defensive players. Yeah, AJ Green, I mean AJ Green, AJ Hawk, and uh, Clay Matthews. I always forget about that dude sometimes. Um, yeah, two great player, a great defense overall. I don't know everyone, but a good deal. Um, and uh, like I said, his experience is going to be great for the Vikings. It's going to improve because uh, you need a mix. You need a mix of young and your like experienced play coaches, you're gonna need that. So you know, and I think it's gonna turn out well. I think the defense is gonna be. If I have to make a prediction, I think top six this year for sure. Um, or I should say more. Yeah, uh, top six. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that because I think top ten even that might be a little disrespectful. Um, offensive coordinator Wes Phillips. I don't know too much about his grandfather, but I heard he was a very great. Coordinator, I believe, uh, for offense, same as him. But uh, but obviously we know his father, West uh, Wade Phillips, a defensive coordinator for Dallas Cowboys and uh, a former defensive coordinator for the Los L.A. Rams. So definitely has some resume to back up. And actually, funny you mentioned Dallas because uh, that's what West Phillips' uh, career started. He started as an assistant tight ends coach. In 2008, with his uh, father, he hired him on, and uh, then he built. He had a couple years with uh, as assistant tight ends coach until 2013. He was a, he had one year as a tight ends coach, then moved on to Washington for another four years, and uh, then went to Rams for the next three years. And uh, in this previous year, he had uh, another responsibilities besides tight ends. Tight ends is. Uh, Past game corner, in which we all know turned out pretty well with Matthew Stafford. So I think uh, I think it's great. We got some young guys. We got some a veteran experience. The Vikings do, and uh, I think it's going to turn out well. Honestly, I don't expect nothing less than a playoff game. I don't. There's there's no doubt. If Kirk Cousins or Russell Wilson, bro, I think uh, the Vikings are Super Bowl contenders at this point. Depending on what they do in the offseason. If they do what I expect them to do, then they're going to do great. Like sign Brendan Schaefer, who is being let go of the Washington Commanders because he does not, uh, apparently don't like being there no more. He's not getting paid enough. So, yes, I think it's going to turn out well. 
I think the Vikings are. I think I think they made some great moves, and uh, obviously we know Kylie uh, winning Super Bowl winning offensive coordinator with uh, the Rams this year. Was there been there for the past two years, and uh, and then was offensive coordinator with um, Kirk Cousins back in twenty eight. Uh, no. 2017, I believe. But that was a bad year for them, I think. Um, and yeah. Yeah, like I said, guys, this is going to turn out well. Um, like I said, the Vikings are a hot commodity this year, so I'm excited to see it. But remember, don't count the bucks. You got to buck that. Anyway, guys, I hope uh, you like this video. Like and subscribe, and uh, I hope you buck that.